that my hole was cut in the right place. It doesn't feel like I did it in the right place. I've got one. I wonder if I can scoop this over. Oh, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over so you can see what I did. So I cut a hole where these two lights are here, but this is still providing support. So now I gotta cut my next hole. This one's already out, so I don't have to worry about those two. Thank goodness. Let's see, how many more lights do I have? Oh, I could have cut this not as deep, right? All right, so the lights are all, let's see, I don't need to cut that. So it's like right around here. I'm gonna cut that hole. And let's see what that does for us. I don't wanna cut a big hole because that's gonna take away from the support. So I sort of wanna see if I can get away with this. All right, so I've got that down. <laughs> Let's see what we have. I'm gonna put this down. Um, this is definitely a project where, I mean, obviously it's the first time I'm doing it. Um, I don't recommend you doing this and selling it. It's gonna look horrible from the back. And there's gotta be a more professional way to do this right. Oh my God, this blade is killing me right now. I'm gonna, hold on, I have another blade. Give me a second. Cause that's gonna drive me crazy. Let me see. I got one of these. I know I have a lot of supplies. I don't even know how to open this thing. What's going on here? <laughs> I see the exacto blades. I do not understand like Let's see what else I have. I am not feeling this right now. And I don't want to use this blade anymore. And I don't see any other. Oh, all right. Gonna make do with this. It's horrible. Gotta switch it out. Let's see, did it come through? Okay, cut through a little bit. And I don't want to push through so hard because this is just, you know, it's just a foam board. So the more I push, I'm going to like lose, I'm going to compromise the stability of the foam board. So I don't want to do that, but I am struggling. This is what happens when you don't have a sharp blade. So I definitely, I see it's like a little crooked now. So I need to change out this blade but I don't want to do it right now because then I got to look for it. <laughs> All right, so that piece is out. Let's cut out this piece. Oh, jeez. Let's turn it over.
what's holding it on? Oh my gosh. Killing me right now. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, so let's see how well we did. All right, I'm gonna bring it back. And I think we did kind of good. Let's see, because I can kind of feel some of these are popping through. Okay, so I'm missing. I've got almost all right here. I'm missing this, so that needs to be cut a little bit bigger and over here. So let's do one thing at a time. Let's see. So this is the way it is right now. So I got to cut this a little bit wider. And this up here. And like I said, I don't want to cut too much, right? So I'm just doing little pockets like that. This is normally not what I would recommend, but at this point, this is so butchered, it really doesn't matter what it looks like, right? We just want to make sure that, in theory, this works. So normally I would recommend cutting this on the self-healing mat, right, with the sharp blade. So this, I'm just trying to, like, at this point, like, just make sure that what we're doing will provide support. I want to be able to stand this up. And I also want to be able to easily hold it to take pictures, which, you know, I always do for my projects anyway. So it's a good test. Yeah, this is like a, a really good project. Involves a lot of thinking <laughs> between the lights and this. I love it. And you can kind of see too, like in my art room, I keep a lot of these because they're, you know, like test pieces. Like this is definitely a test piece. Um, so I want it to last and I want to know, like, is the stability good? So let's see, we did that, and did I have any other pieces? Okay, so let's see now. Um, no, this needs to be even wider. Okay, that goes down and then that goes out here so let's see there's one piece right oh there's two pieces right here I'm gonna try that so let's cut this a little bit more oops so you can see And then we were gonna cut this wide teardrop right here. I get a lot of questions about my blade and about like, um, you know, how come my board looks so smooth in comparison? And so now I'm wondering, I mean, I was always thinking that it was the blade because I've never had a problem. But now if you guys, you know, you guys are watching this and if this is kind of looking like what is going on in your house, then you know it's the blade. I'm not applying a lot of pressure against the self-healing mat because you, you know what a clean cut we can get. So this is sort of, I think all this stuff is good, right? 
kind of teaches us what's going on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this down. It's starting to feel better. Okay, all that is in, this one's still missing. This one needs to go like this. Okay. We're almost there. And I'm like so worried right now that I'm gonna do something and like bend this whole foam board and lose, <laughs> lose the stability. All right, here we go. Okay, this is so crazy right now. I don't even know what to make of it. Okay, all of that goes down, this doesn't. So let's cut around this one a little bit. Almost there. All right, let's see now. Oh my gosh. It's all down. Okay, let's see. Um, it's all down. We need to cut this a little bit. I'm going to flip it over at this point because now we have all these pieces down. I'm going to flip it over to see what doesn't fit. So I need to trim off this top part right here. So I'm just going to do this so I know where to trim it. And then I see a little bit peeking through right down here. This I'm not so worried about because it's at the bottom, but I'm gonna take it out. Oh man, we're almost there. This is so exciting. And then I wanna take a picture of this outside at night so we can see the lights. Okay, so this one right here, I'm gonna put this down. I wanna cut this. Oh, see how much smoother that was? Okay, that's done. And let's see if we can get a smooth cut up here so that you guys can witness this. That was pretty smooth, but you know what? I want this. Okay. That was smooth. So I was able to hold my blade like this. It's probably missing that the top part that I said was bent, so. All right, so this is down. Let's flip it this way. Uh, wait, let me think about this. Hold on. Let's just put down our piece and then we'll flip it over. Okay. Oh yeah, you can feel it. It like all falls into place. Okay. So, all of our pieces are out. Want to make sure that we can put everything back into place. Um, okay. I think we're ready to glue this down. So, I'm going to do a few things. Let's see. It's all kind of flat. This is going to give a lot of good support. Um... I'm wondering if we need to do any extra support. I think what I would do is for extra support, because this is, oops, sorry, you can't see that up right there. This is kind of thin right here. I would probably do something like this so that it just doesn't have any leeway to move. So, um, all right. This is gonna be a little bit hard to glue. So I think what I'm gonna do is All right, I've got my glue gun. <laughs> this is so janky. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna glue this bottom part. I'm gonna jam my glue gun in between there and just put as much glue as I can. So I know you might not be able to see all of that. Okay. I'm putting that down, and that's there. That's down right there. And I think here, I think it might help if, well, I can lift this and go under here and do some gluing right here and in between. Okay, 
So that's down right there. So you see I'm kind of just getting my way in there. I'm going to turn this around so I have a little bit more access to this. Okay, so over here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this hang, which you can't see, and I'm just going to put as much glue as I can where I can see. Okay, I'm going to push it back up, so I'm going to let it glue itself down. I'm going to take this where I can, where's there space, and I'm just going to push it down, put glue in there. This is so crazy. <laughs> I'm going to do it over here. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is run it along the edges wherever I can just to add more support. So for instance, I'm going to do this here. Just make sure that you don't get it anywhere close to the tags because the tags we need to take out. Okay, I need another glue stick. And then I'll give you a tour <laughs> of this back side in a second. I'm going to move this a little bit more so you can see the part that I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to work on this section right here. And I'm going to glue it here. And it looks like if you can jam your glue, like your, the tip of your glue in there, then do it. So you see? And then what I'm going to do is glue basically the, the opening. Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited that this is going to be done and it works. Okay, 